beautifully preserved skull of biblical snake, with hind legs discovered. This life restoration shows the snake Najish Rio Negrina moving through the dunes of the Cacorcum Desert that extended across Rio Negro, in northern Patagonia, Argentina, during the late Cretaceous, 100 million years ago. Fossil history. On very rare occasions, an exceptional fossil is unearthed that provides an extraordinary glimpse into the evolution of a group of organisms. This time, it is the beautifully preserved skull of an ancient snake with rear limbs. Najish Rionagrina. Our study of this fossil has been published in the journal Science Advances. This and other new fossils help answer long-standing questions on the origins of snakes, such as how they lost their limbs and evolved their highly specialized skulls. Najish Rio Negrina is named after the legged biblical snake Nahash, Hebrew for snake, and the Rio Negro province in Argentina, where the fossils were discovered. Fossils of Najish are about 95 million years old, and were first described in nature from a fragmentary skull and partial body skeleton that preserved robust rear limbs. This rear-limbed fossil snake garnered a great deal of media interest as it followed earlier reports of fossil marine snakes with rear limbs. What made Najish unique was that it was a terrestrial snake living in a desert, not an aquatic snake living in the ocean. In addition, the fossils were not compressed flat by the weight of overlying sediments, and so they were preserved in three dimensions, unlike the fossil marine snakes. Unfortunately, that first description of Najish relied on a very fragmentary skull. Scholars of snake evolution were left to guess at what the head of these ancient animals might have looked like. We know from their shared anatomy that snakes evolved from lizards. We also know that the skulls of snakes have been key to their successful and highly specialized feeding adaptations. New Najish fossil skulls would be highly informative on the pattern of snake skull evolution.